We will discuss our next topic that is topologies. Topologies is the geometric representation of all links and network devices. Basically, topology is the layout by which we can define any of the network device. We can provide the layout by the help of topologies. So we have various topologies in markets, example, bus topology, ring topology, hybrid topology. So first of all, we will take our first topology that is called the mesh topology. To understand the mesh topology, let's take the example of five computers. Now I'm going to provide the name to all these five computers as C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. Now to understand the mesh topology, first of all we have N nodes, and means example we have five computers, five computers we realize as the N nodes, and they are interconnected with each other with all possible mediums. Now for so example, I am taking the computer number C2 and that is connected with C1, again connected with C3, same as it is connected with C5 and C4. So that means a single computer can be connected with n-1 n minus one number of connections. So here we have uh, 5 computers, so that means it is connected with the n-1, that means 5-1 which is equal to 4 connections. You can look at the 4 connections from C2 to C1, 1 from C2 to C3, 2 from C2 to C5, 3 and from C2 to C4 that is 4 connections. Here we have n nodes n is equal to 5 and connections are the 4. Similarly, all the computers are connected with each other in the similar fashion. C1 is already connected with C2 now C1 connected with C4, then connected with C5, then with C3, now come with computer number 3, C3, it is already connected with C1 and C2, I am going to connect it with C4 and connect with C5 also, now come to computer number C5, it is already connected with C3, C1, C2 and now I am going to connect with C4. Now come to computer number C4, it is already connected with all the computers. So now, if for example we have n number of computers, then maximum possible connections is n into n minus 1. And if I say all the wires are bidirectional, in that case the connection would be n into n minus 1 by 2. So that means whenever we have n number of computers, then we have n into n minus 1 by 2 connections. So here we have the example where n is 5. So the maximum possible connection is 5 into 5 minus 1 by 2 that is equivalent to 5 into 4 by 2 and that is equivalent to the 10 connections. So you can find out the 10 connections over here. 1, 2, 3, 4 is already mentioned. We have 5 from C1 to C3, then C3 to C5, 6, then C1 to C5, 7, then C4 to C1, 8, then C4 to C5, 9, and from C4 to C3 that is 10. So for 5 computers we have 10 connections so the formula is if we have the n computers or the n nodes then we have n into n minus 1 by 2 connections. So now with the max topology we have the specific feature that is the point to point communication. Point to point communication that is also called the unicast that means there is the one sender and the one receiver at the same time they can communicate with each other uh, two PCs at the same time that is called the point to point and we have also some positive and negative about the match topology the first one is the advantage of match topology so the main advantage of match topology is robust robust means that means it is a fault tolerant fault tolerant that means it can handle the fault very easily so next we have the disadvantage of the match topology so the main disadvantage of match topology is cabling Obviously you can see that to connect all the 5 computers we need 10 cables that is n into n minus 1, 5 into 4 by 2. So that means these are the maximum cables required to connect all computers, maximum possible cables. So that is the main disadvantage about the mesh topology. So the next topology we have is the bus topology. In the bus topology, for example, we have various workstation or a system. They are connected with a single wire. That means the data can be passed through a single medium. To understand the bus topology, let us take the example of three computers. 
I'm providing the name as C1, C2, and C3. And also we have our drop wire. This is called the drop line or drop wire. Now all the computers are connected with that drop line with the help of the tap. For example, C1 is connected with the drop line. And the device which is connecting C1 with the drop line is called the tap. Again in the similar fashion, C2 and C3 are again connected with the drop line with the help of tap. So this type of topology is called as the bus topology in which all the computers are connected with the single drop line with the help of the taps. So now come to the advantages and disadvantages of this topology. So first we have the advantages. So the main advantage of this topology is that it's easy to install. That means the easy installation. Now come to the disadvantages of bus topology. So the main disadvantage is we have a single drop line. So for example, uh, we have started our communication with C1 and the data is going from C1 to C3. So we have the direction of data from C1 to C3. Now for example, at C1 we have the signal strength which is very high. But whenever the same data is coming to C3, the signal strength is very low. Because the drop line is same, so signal strength will reduce as the data is traveling. So next disadvantage we have that is a limited number of taps. Because we have a single drop line, so to insert the tap in the drop line is limited. So we can connect only a few computers in the drop line. So that is the main disadvantage. And come to the next disadvantage that is the fault isolation. And also it is very difficult to reconnect. So the difficult reconnection is the next disadvantage. So that is all about the bus topology. So next type of topology we have the ring topology. About the ring topology, for example we have various computers and they are connected in the ring fashion that is called the ring topology. As all of you know the topology is basically the geometric representation of any computer connection of link. So in the ring topology, we have all the systems or workstation connected in the ring. To understand ring topology, let us take the example of a ring. Now we have the four computers or the workstations. I am providing the name as the S1, S2, S3 and S4. Here stands for the station and all the stations are connected with the ring. For example, I am taking the first S1 is connected with the ring with the help of the repeater. Now here R stands for the repeater. The main purpose of repeater is to regenerate the signals. For example, I am sending some signals from one direction to different direction. In that case, the signal quality may lost. So repeater, the regenerate the signal and also provide the scene strength at the other location. Again, we have the S2, S3 and S4. They are connected with the same ring with the same repeaters. This type of topology in which the various stations or the system or computers are connected in a ring fashion with the help of repeaters called the ring topology. Now we have the advantages and disadvantages. So first come to the advantages of ring topology. So the main advantage of ring topology is easy to install. Easy installation because we need the few wires, normal systems and the few repeaters and we can connect in the circular fashion and the ring fashion. So easy to install. Next we have the each device linked to immediate neighbors only. Next we have the disadvantages of ring topology. So the main disadvantage is it's unidirectional. Unidirectional that means the data travel only in the one direction. So example if the data is uh, transferring clockwise then it will go only in the one direction. So S1 can send the data to X2 and S2 to S3, S2 to S4 and S4 to S1. The data traveling in reverse direction is not possible in ring topology. And the main disadvantage of ring topology is a break can disable entire network. Also we have some specific features of ring topology that it is the point to point communication. That means again we have the one to one interaction in the ring topology. So that's all about the ring topology with the system connected in the circular fashion. So next we have the star topology. If we have the multiple system or the workstation and they are connected with a single point that is in the form of a star. It's called the star 
topology. So to understand the star topology, uh, let's take the example of four systems. I have provided them the name that is S1, S2, S3 and S4. Here S stands for the system. And now we have a hub. This example hub contains four ports. I am providing the name to all the ports as P1, P2, P3 and P4. And now these systems are connected with the hub. This example P1 is connected with S1, P2 with S2, P3 with S3 and P4 with S4. So this type of topology is called the star topology because you can see that there is only central control and the data is sent into multiple systems or the computers. So it's called the star topology. It is again the point to point communication. So now come to the advantages and disadvantages of star topology. So first come to the advantages. So the main advantage of star topology is it's less expensive. Obviously we need the only computers, a hub and the wires. So that means it's very less expensive. Then the next advantage is, is it's robust. Robust means it can handle the fall very easily. Now come to the disadvantages of star topology. The only main disadvantage of star topology is it is dependent on single point. You can see that all the systems S1, S2, S3 and S4 are dependent on the single hub. If the hub fail, all the network fail. So star topology is only dependent on a single point or single hub or single unit. So that's all about the star topology. So next we have the hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is the combination of all the topologies. That means we can combine two, three or four topologies and make a topology is called the hybrid. So let's take the example of two topologies that is the ring topology and the bus topology and we are going to combine to make a hybrid topology. So firstly we have the hub. This example hub contains three ports. I am providing the name P1, P2 and P3. So this is the hub. So let's take the example of bus topology. This example we have uh, three computers with the name as C1, C2 and C3. Now we have a drop line and all C1, C2 and C3 are connected with the drop line with the help of the taps. This topology is the bus topology. So for example we have two more bus topologies same as these. Here we have a three bus topologies and if I say I connect the first topology with the P1, second topology with the P2 and the third topology with the P3. Now you can see that it is the combination of two topologies that is the bus topologies and one star topology. This is all about the hybrid topology which is the combination of any two, three or multiple topologies. Thank you.